Peggy 18. Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Bach. I am the executive producer for Battlefield 3. Today I'm going to play for you a part of an early mission of the game. It's approximately 12 minutes long and let's get going. Fuck man, what the fuck are we stopping for? I don't know Montez. The objective is 20 clicks north. Here we can see my squad exiting the APC onto the streets and as we do that we also see the full potential of the rendering of Frostbite 2. As we look around we can also see a living breathing world with a lot of character movement, a lot of dynamic things going on and in general trying to create something that feels very dynamic and alive. Now we're moving up to a briefing point where we all huddle up around the big map. A funny thing here is that the big map we're looking at is actually a placeholder, but a lot of people on the internet is trying to figure out where we are in the world. I need you to find our Marines and bring them back safe ASAP before the PLR find them. Move out. Let's go find this patrol. As we kick open the door and move into the alley, we can see a good example of the dynamic radiosity solutions that we're using in Frostbite 2. At the end of the alley, to the left, you can see a dog. And the sound is actually recorded from one of our VP's dog, so please don't shoot it. I need your target. What is this? A school? Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. They don't have schools where you come from. Here we can feel the tension gradually rising as we slowly move through and explore the school. That was the first of several tremors. That's, of course, a sign of something bigger to come. That's a quick tremor, boys. We're like 90 clicks from a major full line. Big cross street here. Hell exposed. And here we're waiting for a car to pass. And that car will actually show up later. You and Matkovich, take the door on the right. Okay, come on, let's go. And again, moving through the streets, we can see the animation system called Ant in full action. This technology has been developed together with EA Tech and has been integrated into the Frostbite engine. Not a single city. I don't like this shit. That was the first bullet being fired in this playthrough. So now you're interacting with your body as you need to drag him into cover. It's hard to talk about firefights in games. You really need to experience them for yourself. The through the gun experience is something we focus a lot on with dice. We make sure that shooting is perfect. You can also see a lot of effects going on, both from particles, also muscle flashes from the gun. You can see all the detailed animation being played out as you fight against the enemy here. On the right you can see one of the pre-alpha boxes. It has Swedish text on it which says this side up. So I probably should have stayed away from the car as they told me. Sometimes you should do what people tell you. This is where I switch to single shot. We have multiple firing modes in Battlefield 3. And here you can see our signature micro destruction where you can chip away at the enemy's cover. And there I took out the enemy by throwing a grenade at his balcony. And now that last enemy is gone, 
I regroup with my friends. And as you see the sun shining through the parking system, you can also see the shadows of the parking systems on the whole of the parking lot. And now we move into the second section of the mission. As you move onto the roof, you can briefly see the rich vista of the city. So that's the first flower put down. Dude, that's a fucking 50. Stay low. Stay low. We use a lot of feedback from our military advisors to make the soldier movement look real. Cover to cover. We'll draw them out. They move in a very real way, yet keeping the drama of the situation. Go. Moving. Going. Get on the fucking deck. We get down to the edge, stick his head out, and then we fucking shoot it. Roger! And another flower pot bites the dust. Black, wait for us to get in position. Don't bunch up! Keep moving! And as we see here, Prone is back from Don't Battlefield 2. Eyes on. I got it. Black, now! Hole. I got AT. Give it to Black. Shit, cover's getting ropey. It looks like I need a bigger gun. I'll cover you. And you hit. And luckily, one of my guys has brought one. Apparently, I'm the better shot, so I get the honors while my friends are suppressing. Supportive shooting is actually a really important part of Battlefield 3, just like in real life situations. Again, we can see some glorious destruction courtesy of Frostbite 2, which is, of course, a big part of Battlefield 3. And now we're moving on to the third part of our demo, where you're supposed to follow a wire to a homemade bomb and then disarm it. Did you get that, Black? Follow the goddamn wire! And there's a second tremor. You okay in there? Just another goddamn tremor. Nothing to worry about. One force here to reinforce. Just get that wire cut. And as you drop down into the basement, you can actually see the full body of your character. And if you look to the sides, there's actually pink teddy bears. And if you know your battlefield history, you might also know where those came from. There's the bomb. Now the question is just which wire to unplug first. This is an interactive event where I need to fight the bomber. And of course, in the end you win the fight and you unplug the last wire. So the situation is saved for now. But you need to move up again to, to meet up with your squad. And as you move up, you hear over the radio that they are in trouble. So of course you need to go up there and help them. Get up here now! And you back up into the laundry area and you go from an indoor environment to an outdoor environment without any loading times. Uh, this is a good example of the dynamic environments that we can build with the Frostbite 2 engine. And here we move up to get a new weapon because the one you had doesn't suppress the enemy enough. Here you can see an example of a more big scale fight where you're actually facing quite a lot of enemies and you are suppressing them to keep them away from the rest of your squad. You can see more than your own bullets in the air at this moment. You have a lot of friendlies firing at the enemy at the same time so it's not only you fighting the enemy. 
can also see you know the palm tree moving from all the explosions. It's actually real dynamics involved in this. So all explosions do have a pressure wave that moves through the environment in a very realistic way. You can see parts of the environment being blown up, cars, you can see the metal sheets being blown away. There's a lot of dynamics going on while you're firing. And you can also see the, the backdrop there of the full city again. And of course, your friends show up in a helicopter. You can see the rain of uh, cases falling down over you. As you complete this objective, you run down to face the enemy coming from in other direction. You can see you know, loads of friendlies already in this firefight. You can see the shadow of the chopper uh, that shows up. Of course, all the cars that you can see you can blow up. You move up and, and mount a 50 cal that is stationary on this vehicle. Again, you can see the dynamics in the environment with all the cars blowing up. You can see all the particle systems actually having shadows in the world. And of course, the helicopter starts helping you again, turning this into a more interesting fight. Then all of a sudden, the quake hits. And you can see a lot of dynamic things going on here. The ground beneath you shatters, all the buildings start to crumble, and especially the building that falls on top of you. So that's a couple of examples. You can also see here in the end we have a few images from uh, the rest of the game hinting more missions and more locations. Oh,